Hi everybody, I hope you're having a great day. In this video, I'm gonna be covering Warblade. Now he's one of these unique characters that had his beginnings in Image Comics, but has now been transferred over and acquired by DC Comics. But his real name is Reno Bryce, and he made his very first appearance in Wildcats, issue number one in August of 1992. He stands six feet three inches tall and weighs 195 pounds, having blue eyes and a very striking green hair. Warblade is considered a biomorphic being, and he has the ability to take on the biomolecular properties of high tensile metal that he can then manipulate into objects of various sizes, shapes, and densities for different types of uses. In particular, he's known to be able to make any part of his body into an infinitely sharp weapon. Just like his namesake, he often forms bladed weapons out of his fingers and arms, but yet is capable of making things like shields, hammers, and other basic shapes. Another unique ability that he has is he's able to manipulate his biomolecular metals in a way to create a negative zone immediately around him, and that makes him immune to most electronic sensors. This gives him a limited stealth ability that can enable him to go through most security systems with ease. He also has extremely enhanced fighting capabilities, being well-versed in multiple types of fighting styles, not only using weapons, but without using his blades. His Cherubim genetics actually give him a heightened resistance to pain, damage, and durability, which are beyond those of most other hybrid crossbreeds. The only effective way to take him down is to actually kill him, because trying to knock him out or do other type of temporary damage just doesn't work on him. His biometallic body is malleable, and that not only gives him this increased durability, but it also helps his endurance. Now, although I don't know if this could be considered a superpower, it is definitely ability to have willpower. He's known as being extremely stubborn and tenacious in a battle and will never give up. Being noted as almost being as bad as the character Zealot. Now, before Reno Bryce became Warblade, in his youth, his parents were killed by the alien Daemonites. He happened to survive and he swore revenge against them, dedicating his life to the martial arts to be able to fight them. One day he was kidnapped by the organization known as Cyberdata, and then he was brainwashed and changed into a member of their strike team, the Shocks. But while he was a member of this team, one of his counterparts named Misery used her powers to make him think that he was falling in love with her. But at the same time, she changed her focus to Ripclaw, who was another member of the team. Having her two teammates in love with her, it was later revealed that she was a traitor and Warblade killed her. But because of this, Ripclaw actually attacked Warblade, thinking that he was the traitor, as well as his feelings for Misery had not been severed. Warblade was found bleeding out by Jacob Marlowe, who then saved him. And subsequent to this, he ended up joining Jacob's Daemonite hunting team. This was the gifted team called Wildcats. And just like many of the other Wildcat members, it was later discovered that Reno was half human and half Caribbean as well. Over the course of time, Warblade met up with Ripclaw again. At this time, Ripclaw was a member of the team Cyberforce. And after a while of them doing some fighting between themselves and the teams, they ended up coming to their senses and Ripclaw finally saw through the lies and deception that Misery had put on them, now knowing that she was the traitor. Feeling bad and now knowing that Warblade hadn't been lying the whole time, but had actually been trying to help them, they became the best of friends. Later, Warblade went with the Wildcats to Kara, which was the home of the Caribbean, and there he met other shapeshifters just like himself. He became an apprentice to the ancient shapeshifter Lord Proteus at the Shapers Guild, and that's where he learned many new ways to use his powers. He was disappointed, though, when fellow Wildcats members Voodoo and Spartan uncovered the darker side of Karen's society. Soon after that, the Wildcats left Kara and returned home. At a later point, an old enemy of Warblades known as Pike attempted to kill him, and he managed to disperse his molecules with an explosion that also ended up killing his girlfriend, Jules. With that tenacious spirit and willpower, Warblade was literally able to pull himself back together, and that's when he went for revenge. He meticulously tracked Pike down, and this time when they met up, he killed him. After this, Warblade fell into a state of depression that eventually led to the loss of his powers and his hands. After some reflection, some violent confrontations that almost led to his death, and an experimental drug given to him by the scientists responsible for suppressing his alien genes, he ended up regaining his powers. Now, after this, as he becomes a part of DC's New 52, he's one of the chief members of the Ravagers, which is the elite army for the Nowhere organization. Because of this, he follows the orders of Nowhere's leader named Harvest. And during something called The Culling, Warblade was among the members of the Ravagers that tested the survivors of the Kill or Be Killed tournament. During this event, several of the subjects escaped the colony. Along with Rose Wilson, Warblade was commanded to track down some of the escapees. 
In the course of carrying out these orders though, he ends up having a confrontation with Deathstroke and is killed. Now, due to his powers and abilities and his influence on the Image and DC Comics universe, for my 1 to 10 rating, I'll give Warblade a rating of 6, which is an expert rating. I hope everyone enjoyed the video. I'll talk to you next time. Be sure to like and subscribe to the new Sage.